CA UIM integration operational mode operational mode update from CASOI to CAUIM in CASOI if the operational mode of a device is changed from production to maintenance or vice versa a southbound request is triggered and the CAUIM connector adds or removes the device to or from the maintenance schedule in UIM as an administrator I am responsible to configure the integration between SOI and UIM. To achieve the synchronization of the maintenance status of a device from SOI to UIM, I have to perform several steps. As an operator setting a device into maintenance mode in SOI, I want to see the same device being set into maintenance in UIM, as well to avoid getting error messages from the device. This video will review the 8 steps to UIM maintenance. Stop the Catalyst Container Service. Modify the NIMSOFT Connector.conf file. Restart the Catalyst Container Service. Enable Inbound to Connector Operations. Restart the CASOI Application Server. Set the Schedule and Device Permissions for the user in the CAUIM Access Control List or ACL. Verify the connector status is online. And, lastly, observe the selected system appears in Schedule. Next, watch a short video demonstration of the operational mode update steps. Step 1. Stop the Catalyst Container Service. Select the CA Catalyst Container Service and stop it. Click Stop. Prior to performing any of the following modifications, verify that the service is stopped. Step 2. Update the connector configuration files. Browse to the location where the configuration files for the UIM connector are located, follow the default location listed below. Next, select the file, nimsoftconnector.xml, and open it for editing. Right-click on the selected file. Select an option to edit the file. Confirm the maintenance mode schedule duration value is 120,000. Note, the unit for this parameter is millisecond. Then close the file. Select the file nimsoftconnector.conf file and open it for editing. Scroll to the bottom of the file. Locate the inbound to connector types property. Add the following values. Computer system. And, generic IP device. And finally, click save. Step 3. Start the Catalyst Container Service. Select the CA Catalyst Container Service and start it. Step 4. Activate Southbound Synchronization. In the Administration tab of SOI, expand Connector Configuration. Expand the UIM Connector node. Click the UIM Connector name. In the Connector Controls verify that IS Remotable is selected. If not, select it. Then, click Save. Note, if the setting was updated, the connector has to be restarted. Expand the CA Service Operations Insight Manager configuration. Expand the server to be configured. Click Synchronization Configuration. Select Enabled for Alert Synchronization. Note, the enablement of alert synchronization shown is useful, but not required for this use case of maintenance synchronization. Select Enabled for IS in Maintenance Property Synchronization. Then click Submit. A restart of the SOI application server is required for synchronization to take effect. This step will be performed later in this video. Click Catalyst Registry. Type the SAM user login credentials and click Sign In. Click Browse and go down in the tree to Topology, Physical, Node 0, SOR, Sync Filters.
select alert underscore filter dot XML and click edit as text. Next, scroll down the file. And locate the area, action default behavior equals drop. Press the enter key, then add a line and enter the following. Then click save content. Step 5, restart the SOI application server. Select the CA SAM application server service, and restart it. Step 6, update user access in UIM. To begin, open the UIM server, then open the UIM infrastructure manager. Click security and then manage access control list. Click administrator. Then click the name column to sort the entries in alphabetical order. Confirm that edit maintenance mode devices and edit maintenance mode schedules are selected. Then click operator. Confirm that edit maintenance mode devices and edit maintenance mode schedules are selected again. If the checkboxes are not selected, select them. If needed, provide the same privileges to the user which was used during the UIM connector installation to communicate with UIM. Finally, Click OK and exit the UIM server. Step 7. Verify that the UIM connector is started. In the Administration tab of SOI, Expand Connector Configuration. Expand the UIM Connector node. Click the UIM Connector name. Then, confirm the connector status is online. Now, if you set the maintenance mode for a CI and CASOI, the CI is added in the schedule in UIM. Steps 1 through 7 were performed by an administrator. Step 8, set a CI into maintenance, is to be performed by an operator. In the UIM server system, open UMP, and begin by expanding the groups. Click Operating Systems. Then click Maintenance. Expand the schedule if there is one. Observe that no system is assigned to the schedule, then open the SOI operations console to complete the next steps. Browse to a device level object in a service. We will set the mode of this computer system to maintenance. Shown here is a computer system. Select the device. Then right click. Select set to maintenance. Observe that the mode is changed. This is indicated by showing an M in the information column, and the device is changing its shape. When you mouse over the device, the mode is now shown as maintenance. Next, in the UIM server system, open UMP and click, expand groups. Click operating systems. Then click maintenance. Expand the newly created schedule to observe that the device is now assigned to this schedule. Now, the status of CIs regarding maintenance are kept in sync between SOI and UIM, and by setting a device into maintenance in UIM, Via SOI, the console is not flooded with unnecessary alarms. These steps allow administrators to configure the synchronization of maintenance status between SOI and UIM. Want to learn more? Visit us at www.ca.com forward slash SOI and subscribe to the CAUIM and SOI integration playlist. Thank you.